Hi guys, it's George Davis here from Adventure Studios and uh, today I'm going to be talking to you about what you need to pack for your bronze DOV. Okay, so let's get started. Firstly, we'll move to the cooking kit. Okay, so what I have here uh, is all my cooking kit for uh, the bronze DOV. So firstly, uh, what you'll need is uh, this metal cup here. You can have a plastic one or a metal one, whatever you prefer. But uh, lightest is probably the best for your bronze DOV. Um, secondly, I've got mess tins. So um, here we've got a smaller mess tin and a larger mess tin. And uh, these both fold down together to form a smaller um, package. Um, and then you've got your uh, your scourer. You'll need one of these to clean off um, all the muck off your, off your um, mess tins after you've eaten. Um, and the fuel that you'll need to cook your food is um, hexy. So here I have a uh, here we go. Here I have a hexy stove. So you just open this up and you light the fuel and uh, off you go. And uh, here I have some spare hexy fuel as well in case I run out. And then here I have um, a KFS or a knife, fork and spoon uh, that all go together again to pack down smaller and uh, they also come in a small little plastic bag. Okay, right. We're next going to move on to um, navigation and uh, that sort of stuff. So here I have a silver uh, compass, great compass, I highly recommend it, uh, it's a great one, you should get this one definitely for your DOV. And then here I have a spare compass, uh, this is also a silver compass, just as a backup compass, you know, in case you drop your, your primary compass and you lose it. And then just to make sure that my uh, primary silver compass doesn't get damaged or lost, um, here I have a small silver uh, compass case, which is just a great little thing to have on your, on your bag here, you know. Um, it's, just, it's just a great thing to have. Next we'll move on to the map case. So here I have this uh, small map case, great for putting your map in, obviously it's a map case. Um, and this packs down quite small, uh, there are holes here to put paracord through or string or whatever to tie to things, so around your neck or what have you. Okay next we're going to move on to sleeping kit and sleeping arrangements. Okay so here I have a lightweight bivy bag. Um, as opposed to a heavy Gore-Tex one. Uh, this is also waterproof, keeps you nice and warm in the, wi in the winter and in the wet, um, and also keeps your sleeping bag dry. Okay, talking of sleeping bags, this is my sleeping bag. As you can see, it packs down quite small. It's a down sleeping bag inside here. Obviously, I'm not gonna get it out as it's really hard to get back in this bag. But this packs down really small, um, keeps your sleeping bag dry, um, and again, it's just keep you know, it's a lightweight sleeping bag, it's a lightweight sleeping bag bag, um, and it's just great, it just fits right down the bottom of your bag, um, it's just great to have. Next, here I have a, um, a small sit mat, so this one folds out like so, and you can sit on this so when you're in your tent, you're cooking, what have you, uh, or even if you're just out and about, you know, and you just want to sit down. And it's, and it's wet on the floor, it's, uh, this will keep you dry. Okay, right, what's next then? Um, so head torches. For me, uh, this is quite important. You know, I've gone through lots of head torches. Um, they break quite easily. So um, for me, this is probably my favourite head torch that I have at the moment. So here I have um, an Alpkit torch. Um, it's really powerful, um, lots of lumens. And it's got this battery pack on the back here, so I think it's uh, three, yeah, three double uh, A batteries, uh, Duracell batteries. Uh, those are the best ones to get. Um, last a long time. And here you can see I've even got a um, a small case for uh, the Duracell. Okay, yep. So as I said, this is a great torch. Uh, I highly recommend this as well. Um, also, I recommend the silver compass along with this. Um, and it is really good to have it in the top of your bag if it's dark or you're walking along a road at night it's just really handy to have in your pocket or your top of your bag and it's actually quite small and lightweight and then as a backup compass I also have this really small cheap compass I think it's from uh, Go Outdoors um, again 
it's not very bright it's not it's not very good at all um, really I don't recommend this um, to get one of these but it's the only one I have as a backup torch um, and and yeah if, if if my main primary torch breaks uh, this you know this will just keep me going and make um, make sure that car drivers see me if I'm walking along the road at night okay so I think that that's the cooking covered now um, and actually uh, sleeping arrangements still here I have a roll mat uh, this is a half size roll mat it packs down really small really lightweight as you can see I've just got a couple of elastic bands here to hold it all together um, great really you know it keeps you warm uh, keeps you off the floor and it's inflatable okay what next then um, I think we'll move on to dry bags dry bags are really important uh, to have to keep all your stuff dry um, so if I just move over here yeah. okay right so what we got we've got um, I've got a selection of three dry bags um, that go down in size so here we have the smallest of the dry bags um, this is great for putting your cooking stuff in or uh, your compass or your, you know it, it's just a great little bag to have handy bag here we have a medium one so again uh, keeps your stuff dry inside uh, always want to have your stuff dry put a small jacket in here your hat and gloves even you know that kind of thing and then we have a larger bag this bag is a lot bigger than those other two again this is great for putting rations in even so now I, I'm actually going to put my rations in this for my bronze DV because it's quite a large bag and again keeps it all dry. I also have with me here um, an even bigger one. Um, this is to put my clothes in, uh, so my waterproofs or my spare clothes even. And this will just go at the bottom of my bag, um, you know, keeping everything dry at the bottom. Okay then, here I have um, an extremely large bag um, this is going to be my liner bag for my um, yeah 80 litre bag I have and this is an 80 litre dry bag so um, this will keep everything inside your bag dry so you can put your other dry bags in here as well and it will keep them nice and dry for you when you need them also if you're going to leave your bag outside a great tip is to put your bag inside of this bag and then you just tie it up and you leave it outside your tent and when you wake up in the morning, your bag is still going to be dry. Okay then. Um, so walking boots. Again, essential. Can't go anywhere without them. So here I have a pair of Mammoth winter boots. Uh, I think these ones are quite expensive, so I don't recommend getting these if this is just going to be a one-off thing. You know, the bronze DOV. Uh, but these are the boots I use regularly, um, winter boots, they're really good, really warm. Uh, they're Gore-Tex on the inside, so you keep your feet dry. Um, and they're leather on the outside here, and I've got some suede on the tongue and on the inside here. Okay, so next, walking socks. So again, um, really important to make sure we don't get blisters or your feet get wet and that sort of thing. So here I have just a thick pair of socks. In, in fact, I've got two thick pairs of socks. And I've got a slightly thinner but longer pair of socks that go up to, uh, up to your knee almost. So great, keeps you really warm in winter. And in the summer, they'll keep you nice and cool as well. Also, I recommend having a thin pair of socks also um, inside of your boot because um, you don't want friction building up and you don't want uh, blisters on the back of your heels which is a terrible thing to have I can't, you, know, you can't walk any further if you have any of them talking of blisters though you will need some Compede you can have these in your first aid kit um, and they come with these little uh, blister plasters that you can just stick on your feet um, you know, stop, stop the pain or blisters uh, developing any further So gloves again are a really important thing for me um, because I hate getting my hands cold. You can't do anything when your hands are cold. You know you can't put another jacket on or even take your gloves off. So here I have a pair of Snow Shepherd 
uh, winter gloves, as you notice a lot of my things here are winter, um, however they are great for summer as well, it's just putting them on when the time is right. So here for example I have these leather snow shepherd gloves, um, here they have this gauntlet on them so that uh, you, you know your gloves don't get full of snow, however that's not going to be important in summer because there's going to be no snow around obviously. However, they do keep your hands really nice and warm, and they're really good, they're really good to wear. So I do recommend getting a pair of these, not, not particularly this brand, but a brand like this that um, produce gloves you know, of this quality, and they are really good. If you just put some wax on them, you know, keep them nice and waterproof, and keep them nice and dry, your hands nice and dry. Okay, so here I have my seal skin hat. Uh, this is a waterproof beanie, um, you know, in, in summer uh, you probably won't uh, want to wear a hat, maybe a sun hat even, uh, I don't have that here now, but a great sun hat, you know, be good, keep uh, keep you from getting sunburn and heat ex exhaustion and that kind of thing. However, the downside with having a waterproof hat is that you do overheat, you do overheat, the heat does stay inside this hat and you will overheat, so you can only wear this, you know, sort of short periods of time or if uh, you're just stopping for about five ten minutes you know just stick this on keep yourself warm but as soon as you get moving again take this off because you will melt following that I have this other hat here this is a great little warm hat that I have uh, it's fleece lined on the inside this is not a waterproof hat um, but it is really nice it does keep you uh, uh, warm when it is wet um, and I do recommend having a hat like this, a beanie, um, and it you know it does keep you nice and warm. Following on from that, here I have um, just an army um, hat. You know it's uh, it's great. It's got these uh, these Velcro bits here, that sort of fold down like wings, and they go under your chin like that, and secure the hat to your head. So as you can see here, it's got this little uh, this little beak on the end. So rain just drips straight off that. And this is fleece lined as well, fleece lined, so it's really nice and warm. And I think this is also a Gore-Tex hat, so it will keep you warm and dry. Okay, so my spare clothes. So what do I take as spares? Well, really, um, when I'm walking, the only spares I take would be a spare jumper. Because you are going to get wet, uh, that is inevitable, you will get wet. However, it's keeping warm when wet, so that is why I have the clothes I do, so they keep you warm uh, when they're wet. However, you have got to try and stay dry for as long as possible. However, just at the bottom of my bag, um, I do recommend that you have an extra wicking layer. So here I have a, um, a long sleeve top, this is stretchy sort of top, it's got wicking material, so you know when you sweat you won't get wet on the inside. Following that, this would be my spare layer. So here I just have this fleecy top, this nice fleecy top from Mountain Warehouse. Again, you don't have to get this particular one, but it is a great one to have. It does keep me nice and warm. Okay, trousers then. So here I have a soft shell uh, trouser. Um, they do keep you dry. Uh, they are slightly waterproof, so water resistant, uh, great trousers, I've had these for quite a while now um, and they are really nice, they're really warm on the inside um, and they do keep you dry. Following that, I do have a pair of winter trousers here, these are Keeler trousers, um, here at the bottom they have this, um, this material, this harder material than this. So this is where in winter you don't cut yourself with your crampons, however in summer it's so the gorse and the thorns and that don't scratch up or ruin your trousers. Um, these are um, water resistant, however if you stick these in the wash uh, with a waterproofer they will keep you uh, nice and dry. They are great trousers, I've worn these in the snow, in summer, they are all year round trousers and I do recommend getting this pair, this Keeler trouser. I'm not just saying that um, because of the brand and that, they are really good trousers, a lot of the Mountain Rescue actually use Keeler, um, you know the brand Keeler, not necessarily these, but these are really good, even they have belts on the bottom, so these fasten around your boots, 
when you're going through uh, mud and that sort of thing so you don't get your socks wet and horrible. Okay, so wash kit. Again, I don't have that with me now, but I do recommend having a foldable toothbrush um, with you and some toothpaste and that sort of thing. And also some chewing gum, even. You'll get them in the army ration packs that, you, uh, that you'll, you'll be issued if you're doing DOV with army cadets or what have you. Or even if you just go down to uh, your local outdoor shop, I'm sure that they will have their own selection of ration packs and that sort of thing. Again, this is a hexi stove to cook your rations on. Uh, this you can buy from all those adventure shops and that sort of thing. Really easy to find and it's great stuff. It's really good stuff. Okay, so here I have a microfiber towel. Um, so with your bronze DOV, you'll be on a campsite. Uh, this dries really quickly. So if you go and have your shower, uh, within an hour, if you leave this outside on the outside of your tent, providing that the weather is nice uh, in summer, um, I'm assuming that the sun would be out and it wouldn't be raining. Um, so this will dry really quickly and you can use it again the next day. Okay, so waterproofs next. So what waterproofs do I use? So here I have a, uh, a Gore-Tex mounting equipment. Um, jacket. This is uh, really good for winter and summer for those uh, heavy showers or light showers. Um, however, you will sweat on the inside if you're wearing this and you will get wet. So although this is good at keeping you dry on the outside, on the inside your own sweat will actually make you wet on the inside. Next I have a pair of waterproof over trousers. Here I have um, some Berghaus trousers. Uh, these are really good. They have a zip going down the side here, so you can undo them and vent. And they also have a pocket on the back and a vent. So these are really good to have um, because if you get too hot, you can undo them slightly and they will still keep you dry and they're really nice to have. Here I have another spare layer, so this is my spare fleece. Um, this is really good, keeps me nice and warm. This is a mountain warehouse fleece, it's nice and warm. Um, this will also keep you warm when it's wet, and this is a great thing to put on when you've stopped for 5-10 minutes, or you're in a tent even, you know, it's cold, and you just stick this on. It's a great thing to have. Next, I have um, this jacket here. So, um, this jacket here is a windproof. Um, so this will keep you uh, warm when it's windy. Um, it is slightly waterproof, so it's shower proof. Um, again, this is really lightweight, as opposed to what I have here, which is a thick. Um, it's a thick windproof. Um, it's a great jacket to have, um, but it is really heavy. So I don't recommend having one of these although it is good if you're just going to stop at a campsite or something like that, so it is great to have. Next I have my gaiters here, um, so these will go around your ankle uh, like so, uh, when, you have your, when you have your boots on, so they will go around here, this goes under your boot, um, and this will protect you from any thorns, uh, gorse and that sort of thing. Um, here I have a buff with me as well, so this is a winter one, so it has a fleece on the bottom and uh, this is a great thing to have, I highly recommend this, everyone should have one of these, uh, it's got so many uses, so many different purposes um, and I would I would get one of these straight away, if you're doing DV or mountaineering or climbing, this is just probably the best piece of kit I have here, the one I use most. Um, because it is just so versatile in the things you can use it for. Okay, and the final thing that I have here with me is a water bottle. So this is a Nalgene uh, water bottle. This is a 1000 milliliter bottle. Um, again, this is really hard. Uh, you can store hot stuff in here. And uh, if you drop this as well, like normal water bottles, they will break. 
this water bottle will not break. You can drop this, throw it around, do whatever you want to do with it, and this will not break. It's a really good water bottle. Again, it is a Nalgene 1000 milliliter water bottle. They do come in smaller uh, bottles, you know, um, same hardness and everything, uh, but they are really good to have. I highly recommend this again. Um, and a lot of the kit I have here, I do highly recommend. Um, that is from personal experiences. I do believe that the kit here is the best kit for me personally. So this is the stuff that I take on a normal day out in the mountains or an overnight. Okay, next, I have up here a Dejo knife. So uh, this is a lock knife, a liner, liner lock knife. Uh, this is great to have in your survival bag or you know your survival kit or emergency kit um, or even your first aid kit it's really sharp um, it's got a lock on it so it won't be going anywhere and it is really sharp as I said and pointy so you can open your ration packs with them as I'm sure you know they are really hard to get into without a knife sometimes um, and also bandages and things like that so you can cut through bandages and that sort of thing here I have my first aid kit and this is vital. This is a vital piece of kit that you must have with you for doing DV. So in this first aid kit, here I have some paracetamol here, so pain relief. Um, next I have these gloves here, so if someone is bleeding, a uh, severe injury, uh, definitely wear these. Uh, you don't want any uh, sort of blood um, blood going everywhere all over your hands and prevents diseases and, and that sort of infection spreading. Um, next I have some Savlon. This is great. This is really good. You should have this definitely in your first aid kit or your emergency kit. Um, just for small cuts uh, this prevents infection. It's an antiseptic cream. Um, highly recommended um, by lots of people uh, because it is just such a good cream. Again, you just have your normal bandages, so just a sterile first aid, first aid dressing here, um, triangular bandage, um, even just some alcohol-free wipes as well. Uh, great for just little grazes and cuts and things like that. Okay, next we have sunglasses, which are quite important. You know, you got to look cool. Here I have my Revision Sawfly glasses. Uh, these are quite expensive glasses because they have interchangeable lenses so you can change lenses from a black lens to a orange lens to a clear lens as well so those are really good to have keep sunlight in your eyes and that sort of thing and um, yeah i think that concludes our um our uh, kit here however one last thing to show you before you go which is probably the most important thing you need something to put all your kit into. So here I have with me um, my 70 litre bag. I think it's 70 anyway. I might be mistaken. Oh, yeah, I am right. 70 litres plus 10 litres at the top here in the lid. So you have an extra 10 litres in this lid. So it's a great bag to have. It has an um, adjustable back on it as well so if you're if you're short or tall you can adjust this bag even as you're growing even so if you're young and doing DV and you want to do your gold DV and you've grown up by then you just adjust the back on it so it's really versatile uh, it's also got an emergency whistle on it here and I do really like this bag it's really comfortable I've worn this for um, a couple of overnights before even a couple of days and it is really comfortable um, it's got a H2O um, tube here that goes down the side so you can put a water bladder in here so like a camelback and uh, you can drink from that this is a quencher bag I'm not sure exactly what um, type it is but it is a quencher uh, 80 litre bag so 70 in the body and 10 litres in the top and just uh, a few things just to finish it off um, some really uh, useful things to have are these Ziploc bags. Um, they are really useful to have uh, because you can store your rubbish in here or um, you know dressings and stuff. 
um, from your first aid kit if you've used them, they go in there. That's really um, important actually to have these to put all your rubbish in because you don't want to be leaving your rubbish anywhere. Lastly, you will want some gloves. So these are some liner gloves. They are some silk gloves here. Uh, they are really nice and warm. Um, and if your hands are cold, then you would put these liner gloves on and then you put these larger uh, gloves on top of them um, to keep you even warmer. Uh, thank you for watching. This is George Davis from George Davis Adventure Studios and um, hope you have a successful D of E. Um, hope you pass it and everything. Um, and yeah, that's it from me. Bye.